Right, in this video I'm going to take you through the steps required to register on the ICSU platform. Uh, this is a requirement if you want to upload your own resources and in the initial stages it's also a requirement if you want to look for resources. Right, uh, first of all you have to navigate there. The URL of the Zimbabwean OER repository uh, is www.icsu.com Six, three, think of the telephone number plus you've got to put in dot com um, and navigate to the site as you see um, the first page or the home page asks you either to log in or to register so in this video we're going to go through the process of registering click on register right um, Let's put in a username. In my case, I'm going to be called uh, Andrew. Uh, put in a, a valid email address. Um, can you come up with a password? And you're going to have to um, verify that, uh, that what you put in uh, is uh, recognized by both yourself and the machine. Let's create the account and you can see that the little feedback to you is that your account has been created successfully and the verification link has been sent to your email address. So my next step will be to go and find my email to be able to click on this link to activate my account. I've gone into my Outlook looking for the message from the ICSU server. In your case, it might not be Outlook. You might have a Gmail account or perhaps an institutional account. Uh, you must go to your active email to find uh, the message. In the body of the message, you can see that there is a hyperlink. In this case, this one isn't uh, an active one. I can't click on it. So I'm going to have to copy and paste it into a browser in order to get that link. Um, perhaps on yours, you can just click it if it's underlined. Once your email has been verified, you can log in and you can um, load in the information which you should know and you should now know your password and uh, log in. Good, you should be in by now. If you want to verify this, that you are properly logged in, look at the top right hand corner and you should see your username. And in my case, I can see a photograph of myself. Uh, the reason for this was one of the first things I did on creating my account was to click on the little arrow next to my username and select profile picture. And in this way, you can put in an image so that others know what you look like. 